Um, Hello guys, I'm, I'm just um, starting a new YouTube channel here. So I've been, I've been following the crypto markets for a long time now. I've been posting on Twitter all my analysis. Uh, people have been following me. Recently, I, I, you know, published a poll where I asked people if they would like, if they would prefer to just follow me on YouTube and see my analysis in video and not just reading about it uh, on, on Twitter. So, you know, when I post uh, on Twitter, it's really short uh, analysis, just a few sentences with some pictures from my charts. Uh, but when I published this poll asking if people would like to see it on YouTube, so 92 or 94% of the people said, yes, I should start a YouTube channel. So that's the main reason we are here now. And so just a little introduction about myself. I've been, I've been following the uh, crypto markets uh, in full time, basically since 2017. The first time I heard about uh, crypto was about Bitcoin, some stories in 2015, late 2015, early 2016. I was not really sure what Bitcoin was, so, you know, it took me some time to really understand the concept and by 2017 i bought my first bitcoin so from 2017 to today that's uh, how long i've been you know uh, watching and and keeping an eye on the market uh, every day every hour i always carry a phone with me with everything i i need to to know about the markets uh, updating all the time so I've been recently, I decided to start posting my own analysis that I, I've been using for myself for a long time. Um, so just a small introduction to that also. Uh, my analysis is based on two main strategies. Uh, basically, I've been following Tonevays uh, since 2017, the beginning of the year, 2017. And then I've been using his um, strategies and indicators uh, you know tom demark indicator was his first um, uh, was my first indicator that i started to use because of tone vase um, some time ago i decided to use tone vase m am i right uh, which is based on on tom demark's indicator but it's much better because it was perfected and the algorithm works much better than than the original ones that you can find the free ones you can find on trading view uh, about uh, one year ago after you know 17 18 19 20 so after almost four years of just using uh, this uh, strategy that I was learning for so long with Tone Vase, I decided that I needed something else to complement my own trading style, my own analysis. And then I decided to search for a new indicator and I was checking a lot of them. And basically I found a pro framework, uh, which is an indicator by uh, Phil. Uh, French guy, really nice guy, by the way. He has, um, he has, um, oh my God, what's the name? Discord. He has a Discord uh, server where he teaches people how to use the indicator, where he also has some live classes. Um, so I decided to also use the Pro Framework and the Pro Momentum, which are two indicators that work uh, together. Uh, which I will show to you just in a minute. So um, what else can I say about, about me? I stopped working in 2017 because of the crypto markets, because I understood that this was the future, because I started to invest. Uh, I was also a miner. I was a miner for many years. I had um, like 2.5 giga hash uh, power mining ethereum which i then used to convert to bitcoin through trading and some analysis and trying to you know arbitrage between the prices of ethereum and bitcoin and try to make the most out of it 
recently I just quit my minor career uh, <laughs> because the, you know it's a pain in the ass just to maintain all that hardware and and the network and replacing parts uh, when the you know the power supplies just go bad or start burning you have to replace them so it's 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 a really you know pain in the ass to maintain all that so I decided to just dedicate myself to 100% just trading uh, in the markets uh, stop my mining career and now that you know I accumulated uh, some uh, ethereum and I've been trading ethereum for Bitcoin over over these last uh, three four years um, so I decided to dedicate myself just 100% to trading and that's the reason why we are here so let me just um, so of course if you want to know anything more about myself you can you you, you can read the about uh, section in this youtube channel i have a brief description of what i've been doing in the last years um but what i can show you right now we can we can go directly to you know the charts here they are so this is the one of the charts I use a lot uh, so let me just really briefly introduce you to the um, strategies and indicators I use so basically this is the first one I started to use <coughs> sorry I have to refresh the page here Okie dokie. So, what's happening here? Uh, I also recently got a new monitor, a 4K monitor, so the, you know, the charts get really big. You can see a lot in this monitor. Uh, so, this is one of the indicators I use. If you, can, if you can read it here, I don't know. Let me just zoom this a bit. Okay. and i can show you the indicators okay so of course the first indicator i use here in this chart is the volume then i have the time based uh, uh, sorry the the price based volume which is on the right side here on on your screen this is the volume of buy and sell by price which is very useful if you want to check, uh, you know, the levels of support resistance. Um, then the other indicator I use, really simple one, is just a triple MA forecast, uh, which gives me the, you know, this green line, this yellow line, and this red line here, uh, which is the 20 period moving average, the 50 period moving average, and then the 100 period moving average here uh, you know these uh, three dots here in the end is just a forecast of where the moving uh, moving average is going then i use another one just for the 200 period moving average which is the purple so this is the configuration of the main graphic um, then we have uh, the oscillators uh, I, I use the RSI, I use the MACD, I use the BitMEX uh, funding rate, which is very, very useful. And I recently, just a few days ago, I started to use the Fisher Distance from EMA, which uh, was uh, developed by, you know, Socrates, one of uh, Tone friends, uh, Tone, Tone's friends. Um, uh, by the way, Socrates also analyzed my model, so if you want to check that, the video is also in the channel. You can you can check that. Uh, the P2T model, which is my model, which I've been working for a long time before showing it to the public for the first time in January this year. Uh, so this is uh, the MRI 
on the main part of the screen here. Uh, so this is the you know the indicator I was uh, telling you about uh, in the beginning. Um, that was um, based on Tom DeMarc's indicator, but much more you know improved algorithm and details by Tone Vase and then his developers. So this is one of the strategies I use. And then, as I told you before, around 2000, the beginning of 2020, the middle of the year, I started to use another, uh, which I'm going to show you now. So this is why I, I say I complement my, I complement my analysis by using two different strategies because you know, one of them, this one here that you are uh, seeing on the screen is um, the pro framework. And here, this oscillator here is the pro momentum. And, and these two indicators work as one, work together, and, and give you really good signs on, on where to enter the market, where to exit the market, or where taking profit, or you know, when to go long or short. Um, these ones were developed by Phil, this uh, guy I told you, a nice guy, uh, a French guy that also has a Discord uh, server where you can, you know, learn a lot. Uh, just uh, register there, go to the classes. Uh, Phil has a lot of um, videos also online with trading lessons in English and in French for the, for the, for the French users. Um, <coughs> So what's happening here, and I'm, I'm just going to tell you how this works um, really quick. So you have the gray areas below and above the price. This is the context, you know, the, uh, the context, um, the support context and the resistance context. Uh, here you see the gray area here and here. This context is automatically drawn on the chart by the pro framework. Um, then you have the trend channel, which is defined by this red zigzag line here and the green zigzag line here. So uh, while price is moving, this is also automatically drawn in, in the chart for you. Um, then you have this yellow zigzag line here. Uh, don't mind the colors because the colors were changed by me because Phil uses this in uh, white background. So he has almost everything in black and white, but I decided to use different colors because I very much like the black background. It's much better at night. Um, so that's why I say this is yellow, but if you install the default indicator, this will be black or gray, and, and then you have to change the colors according to your background. So basically the zigzag tells you where ranges and trends appear in the in this chart um and then I'm not going to <laughs> I'm not going to um tell you all the details about the indicator because this is very complex very extensive you know the manual uh, is a PDF with around 52, uh, 52 or 54 pages. I can't remember anymore uh, from so big this is. And, and so uh, you have to read all the manual before you just start to use this indicator because it's complex. But when you get to understand all the details and all the strategy behind this, uh, then you really can understand very well all the you just look at it and you don't even need the price you can you can just go there and you know turn off the candles and there you go you have no price but you know exactly what's happening uh, you have all the signs and you have all the price action drawn by the indicator giving you all the signs you need just to you know to trade so usually i even turn off the candles just to uh, declutter a bit my chart and understand how how the price action is going so let me just put the price again because I bet you will not be familiar with this uh, analyzing charts with no price <laughs> action but anyway uh, so here so I showed you the MRI first then I showed you the pro framework and the pro momentum, which is down here. Uh, the pro momentum is basically, um, it works with uh, sine wave. It's, it's like a conjunction. Uh, it's like several 
oscillators coming together in one and this basically has an oscillator which is the sine wave and then it has another one which is the momentum for the price action and then a few others but you can read about that in the manual if you decide to use this indicator you can go to fields page and and check it out but basically it gives you some signs when the momentum and the sine wave are combined together and you know there's something important happening it will give you like momentum okay uh, sine wave okay and then you can report that to the main chart and then you can see what's going on in the price action and then take some actions uh, around that but basically the main issue with this uh, the main issue with this indicator is that basically you have price action between two contexts the support and the resistance and basically it works like a uh, um, standard deviation from from the mean which means that if you if your price action occurs in the middle of those two contexts basically that's the dump zone where nothing will happen and you should not you know uh, entry the market or exit the market there should be no action from your part here of course this is very general i'm not saying this is 100 percent of the time but mainly the nice areas to entry are when the price action goes below the context here the support context or on the context itself or the take profit or exit uh, signs or signals occur when you the price action goes above the resistance uh, uh, the resistance uh, context or just a you know on it so um, that's why you have these gray areas here just to guide you where the good or bad areas are uh, for you to enter the market or exit the market or take profit or whatever it should be done uh, by that time also these uh, Fibonacci levels here uh, which are automatically drawn also for you by the pro framework so you have the 23, the 38, you also have the 50%, which is not the Fibonacci level, but it's there just for reference. I just decided to turn it off for myself because I don't use the 50. Then you have the 61.8 and then you have the 78.6 and the 100% that is uh, here, but this one was drawn by me. So the pro indicators only give you uh, five levels, which I turned off one of them, which is a 50 and you have the two below the 50 and the two above the 50. This is automatically drawn for you just for you to also to help you understand uh, in conjunction, uh, you know, combining that information with the context, the support and the resistance context, uh, you can uh, combine that with the information from you know the Fibonacci levels and see if the price levels that you are trying to analyze are confirmed by Fibonacci's or not. Uh, so you will you will get used to this when I when I use this uh, more. So I will I will explain in detail all the informations I'm analyzing. And lastly, uh, Safari is very very keen to inform me that I'm using too much energy here. <laughs> okay, so lastly, this is just uh, the third tab I usually uh, have with me all the time open here in TradingView. So this is the price to time model, which I've been working for some time. I, you know, this was based out of some other theories. I was, uh, you know, trying to analyze in the past um, so basically this is like several theories and several um, several ideas I gathered from different you know guys online and I decided to put them together and try to create a model which would predict not only the top price for Bitcoin for each halvening that happens but also when so the time where this top would happen and what I came out with was this. So it's not it's not very difficult to understand. It's very simple. By the way, I have this uh, I have this article published. Uh, you can see it here also. 
uh, on Medium. So if you search on Medium uh, for the simple science behind the P2T model, you will find, for sure, you'll find my article. Also, this is published on my Twitter. You can follow the links uh, and you can read you know, I'm just going to explain uh, how everything happens with the price to time model, but you can also uh, on the video, but if you want to have this uh, article as reference, you can you can just um, keep the link with you and you can, you know, understand how, how the model was built. So I have a small introduction, then I explain a bit about the halvenings because the halvenings are one of the main factors for uh, developing this model because the halvenings you know uh, are the driver of the cycles of bitcoin price and and then this is one of the most important factors for the for this model so then you have the simple science as i call it behind the how to draw this uh, you know if you you can even draw it yourself it's so easy just follow the steps there are only you know seven steps seven steps exactly so it's very easy to use your own charts, uh, you know, start drawing the model and, and in seven steps you have this model working on your trading view so you can use it for yourself. But if uh, I also have uh, the three videos that uh, some people and including myself analyze this model online on Tonevase stream. And here in the end you have um, the link I shared on, I shared that uh, chart you saw previously, I shared it on TradingView. So you can, you know, instead of just drawing it yourself, you can also click here, you go to, it takes you to TradingView and it will open my own uh, model, which I update all the time if I have some new ideas or corrections to, to, to make on it. So just to summarize everything, basically, this is one of the strategies I use. Um, the MRI from, uh, you know, the by tone ways, uh, his indicator, which you can find on his page. Let me just, uh, tone .com. Here it is. Okay. So this is, uh, Tonevase site. Uh, if you want to use his indicator, if you are interested uh, in his indicator, you can just go here, products and services, MRI indicator, you click there, and here it is. So all the explanations about the MRI indicator are here. You can, you know, read about it and how to use it and uh, tutorials and all that stuff is here <coughs> sorry for that and the other one the other one i'm using the pro framework is uh, mm -hmm. let me check here pro coin. sorry not that okay proindicators.com here which also has a really nice dashboard. But this is the homepage of uh, the, this uh, indicator. Just loading. Okay, as I told you, uh, Phil is uh, French, but he has videos in English and, and, and French, so he's, uh, he records everything in, in both languages so you just choose your language the you know the language you are used to <laughs> used to speak more or your your mother language uh, then you choose which um, platform you use uh, you use for you know for your analysis and your charts <coughs> here it is so you have a video uh, basically teaching all the strategy basics and you have a lot more videos by Phil also on YouTube. You can check it out. Uh, but here are the two indicators that work as one. So pro framework and pro momentum. And this is what I use also. 
So now you have all the links. That's fine. Let's just go back. So price to time model pro framework gives you this uh, you know look here on the chart and the MRI by tone phase. So these are the main strategies. Now you know what I use. Um, I guess this is okay already for the pilot. So let's see from now on uh, how the analysis is going. I hope you, I hope you enjoyed this uh, first episode on, on, on my YouTube channel. So this is a pilot. I'm sorry if I'm still, you know, I'm not so uh, how how should I put that? Uh, you know, when you're front in front of a camera and and you're talking to the camera as if you're talking to an audience, it looks a bit strange for the first time when you start doing these videos. But uh, anyway, I I hope this will go away when I when I make more videos for you guys and today was just about getting to know me a bit um, getting to know the strategies and the indicators i use on trading view and i hope you enjoyed this introduction video as i call it the pilot and from now on you may expect a few more videos uh, every week uh, with my analysis and i hope you enjoy it so take care <laughs>